everyone, this is Jackie, and just a few quick things that I wanted to share. Um, some really small hauls from Michael's and Joanne's, a little project share, and then just some rambling about um, a project that, I, that I'm thinking about working on next. And so the first thing is this little pincushion that I made using one of these acrylic shoes from Hobby Lobby. And they're $4.99 for a set of 12, and I got them for 50% off, and they're in the wedding section. And so the first thing I did was use an emery board to scratch up the surface. I used two coats of gesso, two coats of this Apple Barrel Cameo Pink. I picked it up at Walmart because I just wanted to try some different shades of pink instead of the ones that I usually work with. And so it's, it is really nice. And then at the bottom I used um, my gold metallic paint marker. That small flat back pearl trim was the other trim that was in the, the pack with this stuff. And it's the Recollections trim. And then the little pink ribbon rose is from Michaels. I did have trouble putting the cushion part in, so if anyone has any suggestions on an easy way to do it, I I struggled and it was trial and error and it's still not perfect, but anyway. I don't sew, so it was it was kind of tricky for me. And then there's my stick pins and there's this one looks really dark, but it's actually a light purple pink ivory and then turquoise and so it's just various sizes and there's some clear glass beads and then you know just different colors of the other ones and then spacers and bead caps and so that's my little shoe and then from Michaels I spent less than five dollars um, the only reason I went in actually was to get some smaller purple beads I had the the larger size but I needed the small ones for the pin cushion. I mean, I'm sorry, for the stick pin. As you can see, I, ha I already had that larger size. I just needed that smaller size. And I'd been eyeballing this for a while. And especially after I saw Sabrina's video on her mini candy station. And so after I saw that, I really wanted these. But I was not... Whoops. I was not going to spend... Let's see... The original price was $15.99, and even with the 40% off coupon, um, I still wasn't willing to spend that money. But when I went today, they were on clearance for $3.19, so I picked them up. And because like her, I love these. These are just, I don't know what it is about them, but I, I love them, and I loved what she did. So I am going to scrap lift part of her idea in that I'm going to decorate these. I don't know that I will use the little mini crate. I love the idea, but I'm kind of, I don't have a lot of space on my table for that. So um, I probably will use this um, part of her idea, but um, just not the little mini crate, even though I, I think it was adorable. So thanks, Sabs, and I hope you don't mind if I use part of your idea. And then these were 59 cents, and I wished I'd had these when I made that last jewelry box, but, you know, Halloween's coming up. And so I figured I might use them then. And they were 59 cents. So so I spent less than $5 at Michael's. And then I was in a different part of Houston today. And they had a, a larger Joanne. So I just went in to see, you know, what was what they had. And so I found this um, color glass bead. And it says it's bronze. It doesn't look bronze to me. But I thought that was something different. And I could try to make some stick pins out of that. And, of course, those are a dollar. And then I got these stickers, and they're Valentine stickers, um, but you know, that'll be here before we know it, and it was only 50 cents, so so all in all, I spent like $1.50, and so not, not very much money at all, and I, I got to feed my addiction. And so what I'm considering for my next project is to make this into a pincushion. Um, the only thing I'm debating, it needs a second coat of white paint. I just run out of... Um, spray paint and so I do have some more so it just needs a second coat but um, what I'm debating is if I should get a larger um, styrofoam circle or if this will be enough once I get all the batting and fabric on there or if I even need it at all because I do have that fill stuff what do you call that stuff that stuffing 
Um, I do have that. I do have batting and I imagine I'll probably just use some some silk that I have left over from the wedding. And so I'm just debating on how I want to do the actual cushion part. But um, so yeah, I'm thinking that's going to be my next project and I'll probably incorporate this into that. I have a little corner over here to my right that I will not show you because that side of the table is a disaster and I don't want to frighten small children. But anyway, so I'll probably use this along with my pin cushion and make myself a little pretty corner over there. And I have only two pieces of milk glass, so um, it, it won't take up very much space. So anyway, those are my little thoughts for today and my little project share. So thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.